Greetings and blessings, dear friends in the spirit. 111 is Eddie Luisi. How are you? How was your week? I hope it went well. Today's talk is called Return to Love. The Love Boat. No, okay, sorry. <laughs> sometimes I just ad lib and I make a fool of myself, and, and sometimes it's funny. So, for those of you who are following, this is Season 2, Episode 18. I'm recording this May 1st, 2021. Actually, I had the day off yesterday from Good Morning America, so I prepped the talk yesterday, and I prepped the next two-week talks. woo I was, like, really proud of myself that I got all this work done. Um, also, I am uploading... My old videos that I have recorded, they're on my phone. I'm putting them to Google Drive, and then I'm sending them to YouTube, and then I'm uploading them to Starpreneur TV. And very soon, I'm going to be on uh, live streaming on, on Roku TV. So check that out. It's going to be soon. This face is going to be all over America. <laughs> so why did I call this talk? return to love. Well, I I dropped my, my wife off the other day to her doctor's office visit, and then I had an hour to kill. So I was walking around New Jersey, and first of all, it was really nice because there were sidewalks. So I said, thank you, Jesus, there are sidewalks that I can walk on. But I get to this bus stop, and on the glass bus stop, there's a sign, and it says, God is love. And I said, yeah, God is love. And how cool was that? So I took a picture of that and I said, okay, this is good. And then all of a sudden, all my reflections from that day and the next couple of days afterwards was all about love. So I said, all right, this is what the talk's going to be about. And the next two um, weeks are going to be some interesting ones also. So I hope you enjoy them. I am going to read from Daily Practice, Sacred Reading, and Meditation. And all these things, I, I mention where I get them from. And then after I record this, I put the lower thirds. I think I put them here. <laughs> um, check them out. Sign up for them. Um, go on their websites. And um, so, because I don't share all of them, right? I, I read them every single day. And then the ones that mean something to me, I share but you should be part of this, um, all these different communities also. Not just Friends in the Spirit 111, but all these other communities are wonderful. So this is received from Marcy Shimoff. Oh, it's on March 29, 2021. That's my dad's birthday in heaven. I love you, Papa. Love is your job description, no matter what you do for a living. Do you hear that? Love is your job description. If you ever feel unsure of what you're supposed to do in a situation, here's a rule of thumb. <laughs> Always do what leads to greater love. That is just so fabulous. You know, and, and I think I said in a separate video that I didn't put on YouTube and stuff. I just put on Facebook that I've been listening to a lot of different podcasts and spiritual ones, inspiring ones, and they've all been good. But what I've been doing also is going back to the old podcasts and the old videos of this, Friends in the Spirit 111. And the reflections and readings and themes have been fabulous. So, dear Friends in the Spirit 111, after you watch this video, listen to this podcast, Go back and watch and listen to some of the old ones. They're really good. And, and I'm not patting myself on the back and I'm not being conceited. Um, but this ministry, this community is just wonderful. And, and the reflections that I take from different um, other ministries are absolutely beautiful. So God bless everybody. This is received from Daily Word Unity. Okay, so go on the Unity website or just look up www.dailyword.com 
and subscribe. You you could you could do it daily, and you could see all the readings. It's really wonderful. Robin Roberts is a big Unity person, also. Serene, I find serenity. Isn't that interesting? It's serene, but then serenity. Because I could have said serenity. <laughs> Kristen, I know you're laughing at me right now. I find serenity in all circumstances, knowing God is within and all around me. There is a place inside me that is untouched by the chaos of the world, a part entirely centered in the awareness of the divine love and unlimited possibility that is God. No matter what is happening outside of me, I can reach this space by pausing, breathing deeply, and anchoring my consciousness there. As I do these things, I can find calm in discord. Within turmoil, I sense serenity. Feeling lost? I am suddenly found. I am never alone because God is within me. I am never past hope because I am within God. Right at the center of who and what I am is my guiding light, every possible solution already known. I stand serenely within any challenge because I stand within God. And from 2 Theologians 3.16, Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in all ways. The Lord be with all of you. And if you're Catholic, and with your spirit. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to read from Neil Donald Walsh and um, his book. A long time ago, my son um, was at Wake Forest University. He was an interfaith college major, and he found this book, Conversations with God. And he called me up. He said, Dad, have you heard of this book? I said, no. He said, get it. And I got it. I got it the same day, and I started reading it. And it it will just blow you away because it's not Christian. It's not, it's totally different stuff. And I don't know what's true. I really don't. But I just like to absorb and read different things. And so it's all inside me. And then whatever comes out, comes out. But I know it's all God. It's all spirit. It's all divine. It's all love. The love boat. And how am I sounding? Remember, I got a new mic here. Oh, you could just see part of the mic. But I hope it's good. On this day of your life, I believe God wants you to know, and me, that you are loved on this day for all the wonder that you bring to your world with the gift of being you. May I say that again? That you are loved on this day for all the wonder that you bring to your world and our world and my world with the gift of being you. Yes, you are a gift, dear friends in the spirit, one, one, one. And some of you might be wrapped a little tightly and uh, <laughs> and packed a little bit more, but uh, no, I'm joking. You're all a gift. Relax, breathe, take it easy. Find that gift, find that special you, because you are special. Hard to believe, isn't it, that you are that special in the eyes of God? Yet you are. And not because of what you have done, but because of who you are. You are God's own creation and expression of divinity in human form. The fastest way to experience this is to be the vehicle through which others see it in themselves. Each person is walking his or her path and doing his or her best. God knows this, and that is why God loves you all. Love your friend Neil Donald Walsh. The fastest way to experience this is to be the vehicle through which others see it in themselves. So tell others that they're gifts. Tell others they are loved. Love them 
smile, be happy. Um, the other day, um, my wife and I were out and some big man <laughs> came on our door and he was ringing the bell and he, he was, he was, I don't know, he had a mission and scared the, you know what, out of my, my younger daughter. And she called us up on the phone and I'm talking to her and she's upset. So everything's cool. Everything's fine. But we go home and there's a driver's license inside our door jam. So I look at it and I don't know who the person is, but it's not our address. It's across the way. So I go across the way and there's a woman there, a neighbor and with her brother. And it was the driver's license to her deceased husband. And it just brought back memories and she started sharing and she started getting teary eyed. And, um, so that was a gift from God. For some reason, I needed to be there to be with that woman at that time. And also, she, once in a while, I mean, during COVID, she has it, but she goes to my church at Immaculate Conception, and she loves my music. So a double blessing there, right? This is received from Science of Mind. And Science of Mind is a little magazine. I don't have it with me right now. Um, and if you look over here, I was highlighted in one of them called A Friend in a, in the Spirit. So I'm very blessed. Holly, thank you um, for, for putting me in there. Julie, Julie uh, for writing the article. Thank you. Blessings to both of you. The greatest gift you can give. I'm assuming it's you, but let's see. Let, let's read it. How about showing up as love itself? Huh. To do that, you may have to let go of some pretty clear boundaries you've created to keep yourself from being hurt or disappointed. We can always think of a good reason to withhold our love. Maybe your new motto could be, I'm going to lead with love. All you need is love. Yeah, da, 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 da. What's the worst thing that can happen? You give it and you feel you don't get anything back? You give it and it is unappreciated? Don't worry, you will survive. Love is the last outpost of great living. Love heals everything, including your own heart. Love opens up avenues to forgiveness and understanding. We think we are loving beings, but I think many of us are living with hearts blocked by the pain and suffering of the past. That limits our ability to see the world as a safe and loving place. We begin to define our outer world as its parameters based on our inner pain. We can live in limitation until we die, or we can choose to take a chance on love. We can decide that we don't want to live the rest of our lives hiding out from ourselves. So without regard for what you are receiving, decide from now on to be a giver of life. Decide that you will be the one who brings the love, beauty, and grace to every situation. You will be the one to shine the light wherever you are. You will be the instrument through which great healing happens. And the affirmation, I live my life from the love that I am. Woohoo! I tell you, dear friends in the spirit, 111, you probably know this, but most of you out there, a good 90, 95% are Christians or, or, or was raised Christian Catholics. But I just read from three different places that really aren't based on Jesus. They're based more on God and love and spirituality. But aren't they wonderful? Aren't these readings, reflections fabulous? And it's okay, you know, if you're Catholic and, and you go to Mass and go to confession and say the rosary, but listen to this also, it's okay, you know, you're not doing anything wrong. So I, I'm a firm believer that I, I love all faiths, all religions, um, all spiritualities, and I just absorb them all, and then I 
send them out to the universe. I send them out to you, and I hope you like them. This is received from Three Minutes a Day, Christopher Books. A prayer of praise and gratitude. St. Teresa of Avila, Avila, I think it's Avila, once wrote a litany of gratitude that reads in part, quote, May you be blessed forever, Lord, for not abandoning me when I abandon you, for offering your hand of love in my darkest, most lonely moment, for putting up with such a stubborn soul, for loving me more than I love myself, for continuing to pour out your blessings, though I respond so poorly, for drawing out the goodness in all people, even including me, for repaying our sin with your love, for being constant and unchanging, for your countless blessings on me and all your creatures. And then from, I, I'm not sure if I could pronounce this right, Nehemiah, Nehemiah 9.5 from the Bible. Stand up and bless the Lord your God. And the little prayer, may all that is in me bless you, merciful and generous Lord. So before I end, I have this little poem that I'm going to read. It's called Love of the World by Charlotte Hall Mountain. And um, wow, it says July 1st, 1941 to May 6, 2006. So I don't know why they're that big span there unless it was... It was received once and then came out. Um, Charlotte Toll Mountain was an artist and poet of Iroquois Native American heritage. So maybe that was originally um, written in 41 and then it got reposted in 2006. So let me just take a little coffee break. I almost had a coffee sponsor, but it fell through. <laughs> that would have been funny because I love coffee. For the love of a tree, she went out on a limb. For the love of the sea, she rocked the boat. For the love of the earth, she dug deeper. For the love of community, she mended fences. For the love of the stars, she let her light shine. For the love of spirit, she nurtured her soul. For the love of a good time, she sowed seeds of happiness. For the love of God, she drew down the moon. For the love of nature, she made compost. For the love of a good meal, she gave thanks. For the love of family, she reconciled differences. For the love of creativity, she entertained new possibilities. For the love of her enemies, she suspended judgment. For the love of herself, she acknowledged her own worth. And the world was richer for her. Love of the World by Charlotte Tall Mountain. That was beautiful. Some of these things I like, I relate so much to me and to our community. Um, when it said, for the love of community, right? We're community friends in the spirit. She mended fences. And for some of you, remember I had a website called Fences Coming Down. It's time to open your heart. When your fences come down, when your guards are down, then it's time for love and communication and for discussions. Um, that was uh, For the love of God, she drew down the moon. Every morning when I get up super early and I go to work in the dark, I say my different prayers and then I look for the moon. And when I see the moon, I just say a little blessing 
and and I draw down the love of God from the moon. And um, you know, having a good meal, give thanks, all these just absolutely wonderful. So, dear friends in the spirit, one one one, I hope you enjoyed this talk today. I uh, hope you got something out of it. It's called Return to Love. Do me a favor, uh, share these different videos and these different talks and likes and reviews and all that really great stuff so we could grow our numbers. Um, when I finish this recording, I'm going to record the little two, three minute Facebook post that I put out. Then I'll start um, editing and I'll start putting over here. <laughs> I'll start putting lower thirds over here. Um, to produce it a little better. The ending video at the very end, I, I added some more um, people. So it's going to look a little different. Same music from my dear friend Nathan East. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then later today, uh, my dear friend, Dr. Reverend Cheryl Williams. Her, um, she used to work at Good Morning America. She was a makeup artist. And she has this whole ministry and she has this whole online, well, because of the pandemic. And, but she has this whole virtual conference happening today. So I'm going to observe some of that. And our dear friend, Lindsay Davis from ABC News is the keynote speaker. So that's going to be cool. My friend, Sal Castronova, I think that's how you say your name, right, Sal? Um He's graduating his four-year college. He's at a music opera school, I think, in Pennsylvania. And today is his recital at 12.30. So, Sal, if you see this, God bless you. I'm going to be watching you. Um, do great. Do well. Blessings to all the graduates that are we're coming along soon, right? We're getting into May and June. God bless all. I hope, I pray that the next stage of your life is wonderful if you're in media of any type, in music, and ministry, and theater, check out the Future Now Media and Entertainment Conference. I think they're still accepting people up until May 5th, so check that out. So, dear friends in the spirit, 111, share your faith with family and friends. Cue the spirit, stay blessed and a blessing. Pretty soon we'll be on Starpreneurs TV. God bless. Thank you.